Trump just gave every single veteran his number, here's what he telling them to call for. President Donald Trump who is committed to improving conditions for veterans has now announced a new veterans complaint hotline. All through the campaign then candidate Trump made it a priority to state that his administration. Trump floats White House hotline for vets. He said he would instruct his staff that if a valid complaint is not addressed that the issue be brought directly to him and that he would get on the phone himself and fix it. This idea was among 10 steps President Trump said he would take to respond to long wait times and poor service at the Department of Veterans Affairs. He also went on to say that the VA was not sacred, but that the veteran was. Via Washington Examiner, White House officials will soft launch a veterans complaint hotline this week in preparation to fulfill one of President Trump's campaign promises by August, Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin said on Wednesday. The details of the hotline's debut are being worked out tomorrow, Shulkin told reporters during a rare appearance at the White House. The phone line will allow veterans to call in their complaints and concerns about conditions at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Trump included a direct line to the White House for veterans in a 10-point plan for VA reform that he rolled out during the presidential race. His focus on a functional hotline came after months of controversy involving the flawed veteran suicide hotline, which VA has failed to staff and maintain adequately. The specific details of the hotline are being worked out tomorrow. But from the looks of it, it seems like it will be a powerful tool in helping veterans get the much-needed help that the past administration of Barack Hussein Obama failed to provide. To the point that veterans were actually dying while waiting to get medical care. Anyone who believes single-payer health care system is the solution, let them visit the VA. The VA Accountability Act of 2017 We've all heard stories about employees at the Department of Veterans Affairs, VA, who fail in their duty to serve veterans. While the vast majority of VA employees are hardworking and dedicated, because VA often fails to hold individuals who are not fulfilling their duties accountable for their actions, these bad actors taint the reputation of the department as a whole. In instances where VA has tried to take disciplinary action against an employee, the process is so administratively complex and lengthy that such action can take more than a year, oftentimes being delayed indefinitely. A recent study completed by the U.S. Government Accountability Office found that, on average, it takes six months to a year to remove a permanent civil servant in the federal government, though it often takes longer. Just last year, former VA Deputy Secretary Sloan Gibson testified at a hearing that it was too hard to fire bad employees at VA. In the past several years, VA's arcane civil service rules have hampered the department's ability to dismiss an employee that engaged in an armed robbery discipline a VA nurse that participated in a veteran's surgery while intoxicated, and hold employees accountable for the continued failures to manage several major construction projects, including the new hospital in Aurora, Colorado, that is now several years in a billion dollars over budget the VA Accountability First Act of 2017 would provide the VA secretary increased flexibility to remove, demote, or suspend any VA employee including senior executive service employees, for performance or misconduct. It would also provide improved protections for whistleblowers, would allow the secretary to reduce an employee's federal pension if they are convicted of a felony that influenced their job at VA, recoup a bonus provided to an employee who engaged in misconduct or poor performance prior to receiving the bonus, and would allow the secretary to recoup any relocation expenses that were authorized for a VA employee only through the employee's ill-gotten means such as fraud waste or malfeasance. The message America's veterans deserve the highest quality medical care and most efficient delivery of benefits possible. The vast majority of employees at VA are honest and hardworking, and it's unfair to the good employees when VA refuses to or cannot hold bad actors accountable. This bill will ensure these bad actors are accountable while improving and keeping intact important whistleblower protections. And this reason here is why so many of us voted for President Trump in 2016. All the left calls sacred are illegals who will vote for them in the future. To them, all of us real American citizens are all second-class citizens. Vets are third-class since most on the left, such as that sexual predator former President Bill Clinton, loaded the military and everything they stand for. It is our duty as citizens to look after our vets especially those who are just now coming back from the war on terror. They are the best our great country has to offer, and they deserve the best we can give them. Thank you, President Trump.
If you want our vets to get the best medical care available please share. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.